My rehab was quite different to Jodie's. I didn't take up a methadone program. But however you do it, you have to really want to do it. My innocence was lost and my life was a mess. I started doing things I never dreamt I'd do. I turned to petty crime and got caught stealing a handbag. I was and always will be very ashamed of that. The Olympic trial is underway. Also, at the height of my addiction, my dad took me to the Sydney Olympic swimming trials. I sat in the stand watching girls I used to beat. Can you imagine how shattering that was? I didn't want to live anymore, and I ended up in and out of rehab. Once I only lasted a week out of a 10-month program. I walked out of the centre and scored within a few hours. I really hated myself and everything I was doing to the people around me. So I went into rehab again, and for the first time I thought, something's got to give. While I was there, I even jumped back in the pool, and it felt great. I got out of rehab in April this year, clean and feeling so much stronger. I was very easily led. I tended to sort of um, hang out with the people that didn't have my best interests in heart, at heart, but certainly had theirs at heart. So, I mean, I, I tried everything under the sun as far as drugs go, I think, in my teens. I mean, I think a lot of people, you know, um, get into it because it's a way that they can relate to people because they don't really feel comfortable and confident relating to people when they're straight, you know? And it's like, that's the first step, just become comfortable with who you are and be cool with it, you know? The hard thing is, as a teenager, that's kind of your time where you're trying to figure out who you are. So you want to try new things and push your boundaries and, you know, firm your identity. So yeah, you know, drugs are seen as, as being, being unreal, you know, and, and that escape. 